creating a YouTube thumbnail step by step in 2021, everything you must know. So watch until the end. Otherwise, you're going to miss valuable information on how to create consistent and accurate YouTube thumbnails that stand out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grow Your YouTube Channel, where we help you with channel growth, tips and tricks, getting you monetized quickly, as well as reaching more organic viewers and the best and expert YouTube advice. Let's dive right into it. So as you all know, I create all my thumbnails here on Canva for completely free. You can sign up for free yourself. All you need is an email and to confirm your email and then you're good to go. So this is my last thumbnail, as you can see. So I want all my thumbnails to be consistent and look similar and stand out as well these three are very alike so this is how i'm going to want them to continue to look so the thumbnail that you see me design right now is the one i'm actually going to use for this video so i'm walking through it step by step so it's good to have bright colors that stand out um colors that are basically going to be in contrast to youtube's home page so the first thing that i do when i go back and make a new thumbnail is i'll start with the text so i already have um, this ready to go. So creating a YouTube thumbnail step by step. Then I'll look at some of the things that I have on here. I'm going to take out obviously all these things right here as they had to do with the YouTube algorithm from last video. I'm going to type up here YouTube thumbnails. I'm going to minimize this a little bit so it fits inside that box. I'm going to choose different colors. Again, ones that stand out. You want to make sure that you are picking nice bright colors just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick a different one so I can switch things up. I want this white text to stand out. So again, I'm going to try and find something that goes well with this light blue right here. Maybe not a purple. Mm, getting closer. Okay, let's try probably an orange I think would go good. So let's try maybe an orange slash yellow. So I like something like that. Again, nothing too complicated. You just want to make sure it stands out to the eye because colors like these, you will instantly react to. Your eye will look at that before any other thing with dark colors. So that's how I like to keep my backgrounds nice and neat. So then I will go over here and basically delete everything that I'm not going to be using for this thumbnail. Now, I already made a video on this before from Canva, so if you go up here to Elements, there are so many free things that you can use. I actually have the um, premium edition of Canva if you want to pay a little bit extra per month. Feel free to do so. They offer a lot more uh, photos that you can use for YouTube thumbnails. So what I'm going to do is just look up some things that have to do with thumbnails. As you can see, this is Pro, so since I'm paying for the... Pro Edition, I will be able to use this as well as anything else that is under Pro, but there are so many things out there that are free. So I'm just going to go ahead and try not to overcomplicate it. As you already know, you don't want to overcomplicate things when it comes to a YouTube thumbnail. You want to keep it short, simple, and to the point, and keep it basically relative to what you are trying to show your viewers. So I do like this as well. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to the number one thing, aside from the colors, is making sure that your text stands out and it's easy to read, not overwhelming. I want to underline this as well, just like I did before, and I might want to move the spacing out a little bit. So if you go up here, you can see spacing, line spacing, you can move it out like that or closer. I want it just so the underlines stand out perfectly. Something like that is okay with me. I'm going to minimize it just a tiny bit. Move it up so this can have plenty of room down here. I'm not just going to shorten this a little bit. Maybe put one more thing down there to make it look cool and interesting. So I'm happy with this over here. I also like this right here. So this is cool over here. I think I just need one more thing to go down here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in YouTube since this is all about YouTube. This looks cool to me. I'm going to go ahead and put this right down, right below that. I'm going to make it the same size. You can see with all these lines right here, it's minimizing it so that it's the same on the top in the same location, That so it's not above or below it. So right about there is good. I'm going to put that right there, and it's as simple as that. And I'm completely happy with this. It's not overwhelming with so many photos. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down again so that it's more even with these two over here. And same with this. 
And just like that, I am completely happy with this. So I'm going to go over here to download. It is going to download a PNG since that is a better format than a JPG. It's a higher quality image. Go ahead and press download and it's going to come over here and download. And then all I need to do is when I upload this video, it's you're going to go to the thumbnail section and then click on it and boom, this is what you are going to see. And this is what you saw when you clicked on this video. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. And again, be sure to hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on content like this that can help you grow your channel super easy. You want your thumbnails to stand out. I will have plenty more videos on ways that will help you grow your channel to heights you could never, you would have never imagined. So thanks if you made it this far for sticking with me. Peace out.